Now, when they found that ancient Greek uh, computer thing, mm -hmm. on, what, what is that called? The, the Antikythera anti mechanism. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Again, that testifies to a lost navigational skill that, yes. we, that we have not taken account of before. Incredibly complex. Yeah. And it took a long time for them to figure out what that even is. Yeah. What do they think that is now? Um, it, it tracks the movements of the planets. It's a, it's a navigational device. It's, uh, it, 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 it's a geared, cogged uh, mm. system that allows you to track the passage of time and figure out where you are. It's, a, it's some kind of navigational device. It's not fully understood. And yet. how old is that? I think that goes back to Greek times. I'm guessing here because the Greek times are not of great interest to me, but I'm thinking around about 500 BC. So at least 2,000 years old, 2,000 yeah. plus, and we know that there had to be more than one of these things. Yes, it, it, yeah. it, you, can't, you can't have something like that without, without a vast <laughs> effort behind it. Yeah. Uh, human beings were working on creating this geared and cogged machinery uh, that, that reflected the patterns oh, in the sky. Oh, is that a recreation that's of a, it? That's a recreation wow. of something like it. Yeah. Yeah. You, um, can you buy one of those? <laughs> it looks like you buy that, dude. Find, bookmark that. Yeah. We need one right there, right next to the plasticells. <laughs> so such a thing is a, is a cultural artifact, which yeah. doesn't just appear out of nowhere. It has, right. it has to have a context. It has to have a background. And again, my suggestion would be perhaps a secret technology. It's very odd that very few of these have been found. And it may be that ship owners and navigators in Greek times were extremely careful about who they shared this technology oh, with. Of course, it right? may, they, it, they, they may, it may have been as top secret as, you know, nuclear power is mm. in, in, in our world today. Oh, that makes sense. But the fact is that then we have to, we, it exists, it's real, yes. it's there. Yeah. And then we must consider what's behind it. What, what led to that? Is that just the latest manifestation of something that, that goes much more deeply back into human, human culture? And I, I think that is. I, think, I suppose my main, my main message is that we have a so far untold backstory, that we're concentrating entirely on the front story, mm -hmm. and the backstory is missing, very largely missing from the picture. And what I've tried to do is to fill in bits of the backstory.